Thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Petey Montero, Dodgers organization, and showing off a little bit of hardware here lately and, and uh, some stuff going on on the face. Looking good, my man. How you doing? I'm doing all right. Thanks for having me on. How are you? Can't complain. In between games out here at the Plex in Riverside, on the call, excited about that, excited to be at baseball games again. I know you're excited to be coaching baseball games again. Tell me about that. And what are you doing kind of right now in the meantime? I understand you're working with some guys right now. Uh, yeah, I mean, we just got done with our spring training here on Friday, uh, yesterday, and I uh, was having three days off before we started extended. I'll be in Arizona this year. And uh, we had a couple of players that were rehabbing uh, Zach McKinstry and Cody Bellinger, uh, a couple other guys. We had some of our minor league guys helping out. Joe Kelly was throwing today as well. And uh, just went in for a little short time just to help with those guys and uh, uh, just kind of get, get out of the house for a little bit. So it was nice. It was good. Very nice. Well, look, I mean, looking behind you there, I, I wouldn't want to get out of that corner of the house right there. Yeah, I'm in Arizona. One of my uh, good friends, uh, Kevin Cronin and his wife, Autumn, uh, have a nice house right down the street from uh, the complex. And I've been, you know, fortunate enough to stay here for a while. And uh, they're big Dodger fans, as you can see. So hence the Dodger room. I mean, every, it's, this place is covered in Dodger stuff. So it's, it's pretty cool. This is my little office during, uh, during the season. Can't beat that. Great office, great atmosphere. Speaking of great atmospheres, the Dodger organization in general, in the time I've been able to sneak peek in there, fantastic character people just up and down and now you guys get to celebrate as a family here lately tell me about that just got the rings i mean what's that feel like yeah you know i mean it's uh it's really a cool experience to you know get a box with the world series ring um you know being part of this organization with everybody that's here and you know everyone that's helping you know the best part is just you know players uh, reach their goals and you know, having that, you know, success throughout the organization and seeing some of those guys that we had in 2018 in Rancho now, you know, helping out the ball club and, you know, some guys getting the opportunity to play in the big leagues these last couple of years has been really cool to watch. And, you know, that's what we were doing um, as coaches is just trying to help these guys any way we can to, you know, help reach their goals. And, you know, for me, it's, um, I mean, everyone, it's an awesome experience to get a World Series ring, but being a kid from L.A., uh, going to, man, so many Dodger games. I can't even count how many Dodger games I've been through um, throughout my life. And, you know, to be able to experience that and, and, you know, be a hometown kid working for the hometown team and being part of a World Series, uh, you know, is there's just really no words to describe the feeling. But I know my parents are happy. Uh, you know, I was talking to my dad and my mom the other day, and they were just like, could you just, I mean, just think about it. You, did you ever think you would do this? And, you know, said them sending me pictures of me when I was a little kid in my Dodgers gear and stuff. And then now, you know, I get to wear a real Dodgers jersey. So it's, it's been quite the experience. Um, you know, definitely the work isn't done. We're going to try to continue and help build more players and get more players uh, to help the ball club uh, up top. Awesome. Beautiful. Yeah, you're living a dream. A dream come true, and uh, I mean, I just I couldn't be happier for you, and uh, you know all my friends over there with the Dodgers, and uh, so I mean I'm here at a college atmosphere, doubleheader for the Highlanders of UC Riverside, and I just wondered about, and I always think about when I'm at the ball field, you know when I played, and oh this memory happened and that, what's something for you when you were growing up, whether it be little league, high school you know, travel ball, whatever it was, what was something that was a, just a, a very vivid memory for you, P.D. Montero? Man, that's a good question. Um, probably, I would say, maybe just like high school, uh, you know, there's a few games where, you know, we got really close to playing at Dodger Stadium for, you know, championship and, title and all that and you know we never made it but I mean it's just the experience of playing high school baseball and seeing some of the guys that I played against that are uh, you know some of them are in the big league some of them are coaching the minor leagues as well and you know just that talent um, you know the guys are still in the game which is awesome I was literally just talking to a couple of my friends that I played against 
uh, growing up and even in high school and played summer ball with them in college. And now they're coaching youth baseball and helping guys out. So it's been my high school experience really cool. Well, Petey Montero, really appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule. Best wishes in the 2021 season uh, in Camelback Ranch. And uh, just thank you so much for coming on. Really appreciate you, Petey.